These are golden willow cuttings. These are cuttings of a willow called the golden willow. They have a yellow cast to the branching and we're going to cut these into small cuttings like this and then we're going to root them out. That's how we here at Highland Hill Farm keep our costs low and you too can do the same thing and I'll show you how we put them in pots and get them to root out. These are our golden willow cuttings and the cuttings are about 12 inches long and what we're going to do is we're going to stick them right into the soil and I'll put them in like this make sure they try and stay straight up and we'll put quite a few of them in this pot and they'll be in here for a couple weeks and they'll all start to root out and put roots out and when they do and they get a good set of roots we'll put these in a one gallon pot such as this and the one gallon pot will then be used to grow it for a couple more weeks until we can actually take them out and put them in the field. Now I like to just stick these in straight in if, the, if it bends while I do it and the branch gets sort of tweaked then I won't use it. Now if it's real small like this one you might not want to use it or like this one you may not want to use it because it just is very weak. It doesn't have a lot of reserves in the trunk of the branch. And after the pot is full, we will set this in a new location for it to grow. That's pretty much all we do. Now this is almost all ready to root out. It'll take a little water each day. I'll wet the foliage on it or the trunk each day of the stems and that'll keep them from drying out. And <clears throat> the roots will grow almost immediately in this media. And I'll get a sample and I'll show you what the roots will look like. <clears throat> and this is what it'll look like in just a couple weeks it'll start to put roots out. Now this is just a regular green willow and this is the golden willow. You can see the difference in the color of the stem. And when it gets a few more roots than this then we will use it to put in this one gallon pot and pot that up like that. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. If you have any questions on growing some trees on the cheap side, like I am, I'm very cheap. I even cut my own hair because that helps keep my costs down. Uh, and I'll show you, if you come to Highland Hill Farm, how we grow our trees and shrubs. There are no secrets here. Other people can grow trees and shrubs just as well as we can, and if not better. And you'll have a lot of fun. It's a nice hobby and I've turned this hobby into a profession and I grow lots and lots of trees and shrubs here and my sons do deliver and install trees and shrubs up and down the East Coast so if you need some cuttings you can come to us for that if you need some started plants we have that and we have full-size trees that are about two inches in caliper that we can deliver and install for you again this is Bill at Highland Hill Farm and I hope you subscribe to my video thank you